Howdy y'all, Fuzzy Biker here at Baxter Cycle in the mighty Minitropolis of Marnie, Iowa. And look what I got behind me today. We are looking at a wonderful Royal Enfield Interceptor 650. Though this one's kind of special. Some of you are catching it already. Just a few things added to it, but uh, there's something that kind of stands out about this one. I'm a little teasing here, doing a little teasing here, aren't I? Of course, the seat is an add-on. These Moto knee pads are an add-on. What else could there be, huh? Look at that beautiful chrome. I love it. Just a beautiful machine. So a Royal Enfield Interceptor is a 648cc parallel twin, air-cooled, oil-cooled, single overhead cam, four valve per cylinder, 270 degree cranks to get that wonderful wop wop sound. That produces about 47 horsepower and about 39 foot-pounds of torque. That's about 53 newton meters. And all of that power goes right through this absolutely wonderful six-speed transmission. I call this a uh, symbiotic relationship between the engine and the transmission. It's one of the smoothest uh, pairings out there, I believe. The engine produces about 90% of its torque at about 2,000 RPM. So it's got, uh, you know, it's all, you always seem like you're in the right gear no matter what you're doing. And the transmission, it goes from gear to gear just fabulously. Other things about this motorcycle, it's got a 31.7 inch seat height. That's about 805 millimeters. 55.1 inch wheelbase, that's about 1,400 millimeters. It uh, has about 6.7 inches of ground clearance. That's about 170 millimeters. The front travel here is 4.3 inches, 109 millimeters, and about three and a half inches on the back. It's got a pair of shocks on the back. That's about 89 millimeters. Aluminum wheels with 18 inch, aluminum wheels with spokes and 18 inch tires front and rear. I think the front is a 190, 18, and the rear, I believe is a 130, 70. 18, yeah, right there, 13070 18. Very good pairing. With the brakes, it's a 240 millimeter disc on the back with a single pot vibri right there. And on the front, it's got this wonderful, absolutely wonderful, 320 millimeter full floating disc with a twin pot vibri system. Isn't that neat? 41 millimeter forks, by the way. Just a gorgeous thing, absolutely gorgeous thing. And what is, uh, what stands out about this one to y'all? Have y'all noticed it yet? All right, I'm going to jump right to it. Ventura Blue on Chrome. Isn't that something? Ventura Blue side covers. Just an absolutely beautiful thing. So it's got the chrome tank, the light colored wheels, you know, the chrome exhaust, the, you know, the light colored engine area, the chrome headlamp. I mean, it's, uh, it's very well done. You know, the chrome bars, the chrome mirrors, and then they've got this Ventura Blue. Royal Enfield does not offer this color, or this bike in Ventura Blue, at least here in the States. But the Baxter Cycle got this one done. And I think they did a really good job. I just noticed just now, look at this Ventura Blue Stripe all the way down across the bottom. Very nice, very nice. Actually says Interceptor here, that's amazing. I like it, I like it. Just a gorgeous bike. Other than that, this thing is bone stock. And uh, I am absolutely in love with it. I need one of these desperately. I don't know why I don't have one. And this would be a very good one to have. <laughs> because it's got things I like. It's got the chrome. It doesn't have red, but it does have this gorgeous Ventura blue, you know. So uh, just check that out. Just check that out. You know, one thing I missed the other day when I did a little uh, video on these is I didn't go over the uh, switch gear. So we've got uh, the clutch on this side, flash to pass, high lows, blinkers, horn. On this side, the kill switch, start switch, gas and brake, of course. Over here, we've got this very retro looking, you know, chrome face dials. Um, Speedometer on the left, tachometer on the right. A little LCD down here, a bunch of lights down there, including an oil light. Oh, very nice, and a battery. So this has an oil light and a battery light. Now that's something I wish every motorcycle had, oil light and a battery light. Anyway, a digital fuel gauge down here. Then right down here, there's an odometer. You push this button in here and you can go to trip A, trip B, and odometer. Very nice, I love it. Very retro, you know, it has just the amount of information you want. Good looking, you know, minimalist, but yet everything you want. You know, that fuel gauge is spectacular. I like it. I like it. And I like this too. You know, they make little pads for this. I wonder if that would look good on this. <laughs> gorgeous, gorgeous. Stepping back here to the seat. This is a new seat. I saw this for the first time yesterday. Royal Enfield tour, Touring Seat. Uh, what I like about this one, it's got, you know, of course it's black with the white stitching, but it's got this kind of a rider's cutout, you know, the, for the for the driver, you know. I like the way that looks. Very nice, very nice. And I also wonder if that takes a little bit off the height, not that that would matter that much, 
30, uh, 1.7 inches is a pretty low seat, 105 millimeters. So this might take a little bit off of that. But, you know, these bikes are so narrow that the uh, seat feels much lower than the advertised number. Just a gorgeous thing, isn't it? Chain drive, of course, the rear. Wonderful. I love the fact that all these bikes have the gaiters on them, that they have a uh, center stand that comes stock. Of course, the big dual uh, exhaust, chrome dual exhaust. By the way, Baxter Cycle sells a plethora of pipes for these. AEWs, my favorite ones. Tech. We are in harvest season here in uh, good old Iowa. So uh, that's just a, that is a wagon as big as a house full of grain. Uh, anyway, AEW, Tech, SNS, Zard, they've got them all in stock. They've got a whole in here, they've got a whole area just full of interceptor parts. All kinds of goodies you can get for these bikes. Just a lovely bike, just a lovely bike. They just got this one uh, up and going the other day. Like I said, I'm uh, really in love with it. I would love to take it for a ride. However, it's a rainy day here. So actually I gotta get this thing back inside before it starts to come down. <laughs> I'm all geared out. I've got my uh, my brand new uh, Noru pants on that are waterproof and uh, insulated. My part on the jacket. I've got Noru underwear on. And I've got, of course, my full face uh, HAC I-90 helmet. But uh, anyway, life is good. If y'all are in the market for a new used Royal Enfield Triumph classic British bike of any type, get yourself down here to Baxter Cycle. Go to BaxterCycle.com. They've also got all kinds of accessories, gear, Backpacks, boots, shoes, insulated bike pants, boots, you name it, they got a wonderful selection of gloves. Hey, life is good. I am gonna try to put 100 miles on my bike in today, so uh, I better get it going, huh? Life is good, wahoo.